Hi guys, welcome to lecture number 6. In this lecture, we will be starting diode LC circuit. So before starting diode LC circuit, I would like to find the response of LC circuit with DC excitation without diode. So let us look at this circuit. This circuit consists of one inductor and one capacitor and it is excited with one voltage source DC voltage source V of S. Okay. Let us take the voltage across inductor is VL and voltage across capacitor is VC and I am considering that initially the voltage across inductor is VC naught means capacitor is charged initially at voltage VC naught. Now when I close this switch at T is equal to 0 then by KVL I will get minus V of S plus VL plus VC is equal to 0. So I can write VC plus VL is equal to VS. I can write VC plus VL is equal to LDIL upon DT is equal to VS. Now see the current flowing in this capacitor IL of T will be C DVCT upon DT. Okay. So for any time I can write like this VC of T plus take IL of T is equal to C DVCT upon DT that is equal to LC D square Vc of t upon dt square is equal to Vs. Right now apply Laplace transform in equation 1. I will get Lc s square Vc of s minus s Vc of 0 minus Vc dash of 0 plus Vc of s is equal to Vs. Okay, now what will be the Vc dash 0? C IL of T is equal to C DVCT upon DT. So I can write C D C V C dash 0 is equal to IL of 0. So V C dash 0 come out to be IL of 0 upon C. And we know that at T is equal to 0, initially the current flowing in this circuit is 0. So V C dash 0 come out to be 0. V C dash 0 is nothing but D V C of 0 upon DT okay so vc dash 0 is coming out to be 0 so rearranging this equation i will get lc s square vc of s minus lc s vc of 0 plus vc of s is equal to vs of s upon s this will be vs upon s so i can write like this vc of s is equal to lc s square plus 1 is equal to vs upon s plus lc s and vc of 0 the voltage drop across this capacitor t is equal to 0 is nothing but vc naught so we can write lc s vc naught okay now rearrange this equation i will get vc of s is equal to v of s upon s into lc s square plus 1 plus lc s vc naught upon lc s square plus 1 take lc common here vs upon s into lc s square plus 1 plus s vc naught upon s square plus 1 by lc this is equal to vs upon s plus a s plus b into lc s square plus 1 plus s vc naught upon s square plus 1 by lc i can write this equation like this okay now we have two constant a and b so i will find first a and b see i can write this equation like this vs upon s plus a s plus b plus lc s square plus 1 okay that is it is equal to vs under root lc s square plus 1 plus a s plus b into s by s into lc s square plus 1 now in order to find a and b equate the coefficient of x s square the coefficient of s square is a plus here this is lc vs 
is equal to 0. So I will get A is equal to minus LC BS. Now to find constant B, equate the coefficient of S is equal to 0. Here the coefficient of S is equal to B and here the coefficient of S is 0 and also here the coefficient of S is equal to 0. So B is equal to 0. VC of S is equal to VS of on S minus LC BS S upon LC S square plus 1 plus S VC naught upon S square plus 1 by LC. Okay. Take LC common. I will get finally like this VS upon S minus VS S upon S square plus 1 by LC plus S VC naught upon S square plus 1 by LC. This is VC of S. Now applying inverse Laplace transform, I will get VC of T is equal to Bs minus Bs cos omega naught T plus Vc naught cos omega naught T where omega naught is equal to 1 by under root LC. Okay. So finally Vc of T will be take Vs common Vs into 1 minus cos omega naught T plus Vc naught cos omega naught T. This is the voltage drop across capacitor for T greater than 0. Got it? Now I can find IL of T also. IL of T is nothing but current flowing through this capacitor that is equal to C dVCT upon dt. So if I will differentiate this equation and multiply with C, I will get something like this that is equal to under root C by L Bs minus Vc naught sin omega naught t where omega naught is equal to 1 by under root LC. Got it? So in this way we can find Vc of t and IL of t for t greater than 0 for LC circuit. Okay. Initially the voltage across capacitor Vc of 0 is given as Vc naught. Got it? So finally what I am getting, I am getting uh, Vc of t is equal to Vs into 1 minus cos omega naught t plus Vc naught cos omega naught t where omega naught is equal to 1 by under root LC and IL of t is equal to under root C by L Vs minus Vc naught sin omega naught t. Now I will take two case. First case is with zero initial condition. What do you mean by this? With zero initial condition means initially the voltage across capacitor Vc of 0 is nothing but 0. So what I will do? I will put Vc naught is equal to 0 in this equation then I will get Vc of t for zero initial condition. So put Vc naught is equal to 0. I am getting Vc t is equal to Vs into 1 minus cos omega naught t. This I will get when initial voltage across capacitor is 0. Similarly I can find IL of t that is equal to Vs under root c by l sin omega naught t by putting Vc naught is equal to 0. The second case I am taking as a source free circuit. What do you mean by this? It means initially the capacitor is charged to Vc naught by some external source and it is connected with inductor and I am closing the switch at is t is equal to 0. Then what will be the response? Let us say the current flowing is IL of t. So in this case what I am doing? I am putting Vs is equal to 0 because in discharging circuit the supply voltage is 0. So put Vs is equal to 0 in this equation you will get Vc of t is equal to Vc naught cos omega naught t where Vc naught is the initial voltage across capacitor and IL of t is equal to minus Vc naught under root C by L sin omega naught t. Why I am getting this minus sign? I am getting this minus sign because initially the current flowing through this capacitor is something like this. IL of t is from left to right. Now when you remove the source and short circuit this terminal to get the discharging response then the current will flow from right to left that's why I am getting minus. Now suppose the question is asked like this initially the voltage across capacitor is Vc naught and switch is closed like this it is connected in series with inductor and switch is closed at t is equal to 0 and what will be the value of current IL of t then in this case the IL of t will be positive because what I have assumed I have assumed that initially the capacitor voltage is like this Vc naught and current will flow from plus of the capacitor to 
minus so i am assuming the il of t in the same direction in which the current is flowing that's why in this case the il of t will be positive here i am getting il of t in minus why because initially the current flowing in this capacitor is from left to right and in source free circuit when i remove the source and it when i short circuit this terminal then current will flow from right to left that's why current i am getting negative so in any kind of source free circuit if il of t is asked then take positive only in this circuit you are getting negative got it so you have to keep in mind these two formula first formula is this and second formula is this after that if zero initial condition is given then put vc not is equal to zero you will get vc of t il of t and if source free circuit is given then put vs is equal to zero and initial voltage across capacitor is equal to vc naught you will get vc of t and il of t il of t you have to take positive for any kind of source free circuit got it so that's all about this lecture in the next lecture we will start lc circuit with diode having zero initial condition with initial condition and we will see discharging circuit with waveform okay we will see at a steady state what is the voltage across capacitor what is the voltage across inductor and what is the voltage across diode we will see these things in the next lecture if you guys understood the concept then please like this video for new updates you can subscribe to this channel